So which of the following is the smallest prime number greater than 200? Which of the following is smallest prime number greater than 200? So we have A is 201, so we have this here is 201, B is 205, C is 211, D is 216. So right off the bat, what we can say is I can say that D here is incorrect, right? D here is an even number, so I can divide that by two, which means that's not a prime number. Remember, the definition of a prime number here is means that, so this prime number means that only factors are one and itself defines a prime number here. So 216, I can divide this by two, therefore D is the wrong answer in this case. D here is not the correct answer because I can divide this by two. So two is my factor. Okay, what else can I divide this by? Uh, I can see that B here is an incorrect answer as well because it ends in five, which means I can obviously divide 205 by five, right? Which means this here is also an incorrect answer. So all I'm left with is 201 and 211. So how do I figure out whether if there are prime numbers? So I have a little cheat for you. So what if, what this cheat is, if I want to find out if something is divisible by three, an odd an odd number, what I can do is I can, I have to figure out, I have to, I have to add the specific digits up for me to figure out if it's divisible by three. So for example, in 201, I have two plus zero plus one equals three. Three is obviously divisible by three, which there means therefore I can divide 201 by three. So how, so this here is also, 201 is indeed divisible by three. And you can actually check with your calculator if it is. So I can type in 201 divided by three. And as you can see, it gives me here 67 here. So this is a little cheat for you to figure out if something is divisible by three, which means B here is also the incorrect answer, or sorry, A is the incorrect answer, which means C here is our correct answer. 211 is a, indeed a prime number and it is not divisible by anything. And if you want, if you have a calculator, you can check this. If I take the square root of 211 here, I don't get a simplified uh, root here. So therefore it is not a prime number. Sorry, therefore it is the smallest prime number greater than 200. Uh, you could say maybe 207, but 207, two plus seven equals nine, nine is divisible by three, therefore it's not a solution as well. So this here, C is 211, which means this here is my correct answer. So C is also a, uh, so C here is my correct answer, and it is my uh, smallest prime number that is greater than 200. That's awesome. So this here, C is correct. So it says here, a number is a prime number if it has exactly two factors, one in itself, good. For example, five is prime number and one and five are only factors of five. Good, 10 is not a prime number. So they're showing examples, which is good. Now 201 has at least three factors, one, three, and 201. And basically how they figured that out was they used my little cheat here, right? So again, let me write this cheat down. So if I have 201, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the digits together, right? So I'm adding, I have, I'm adding, sorry, I'm adding, two plus zero plus one, right? So two plus zero plus one equals three. And then you take this number, is three divisible by three? If yes, then uh, then this entire number is divisible by three. So that's, uh, so that's how you do it. So you take the sum of digits and you're going to check if uh, divisible by three. And that's what that is here. So in this case, A is incorrect. Uh, 205 has one, five, and 205. That's good, that's what I said here. Again, 216 has, has at least three factors. I said two, but again, it probably has more, right? So again, 211 is the correct answer. So C here is our prime number here. So this here is a great solution. It's a great solution and step by step by step. So sweet. So we got that. Um, we got that solution down.